Ravens are clever, resourceful, and wise birds. And when one large raven appears at a funeral, it makes quite a stir, but then it swoops down and puts something in the dead girl's mouth. What happened next is beyond shocking. Rodney and Cynthia were once the perfect couple. They had been together since they were only 14 years old and had grown up as a couple. The two of them had made plans, shared dreams, and been on some amazing adventures. They had even had a daughter together, Marie. Life seemed to be going perfectly for them. However, things change, no matter how much we want them not to. Now in their 30s, Rodney and Cynthia found that their relationship was falling apart. They argued over anything and everything, and constantly got into verbal battles with each other. They would argue like cats and dogs over the smallest things. Rodney often wondered why he didn't just walk away and leave, but he always came back to the fact that he wanted Marie to have a lovely childhood filled with happy memories. At the time, she was only five, and although she was happy and carefree, she was no doubt picking up on the hostile vibe in the house. This broke Rodney's heart. He didn't love Cynthia anymore, but despite how unreasonable and volatile his wife was, he didn't want to leave for Marie's sake. Luckily, Marie loved to play outside, not only did it mean that she didn't have to listen to her mother and father arguing, but she also got to enjoy the fresh air and come up with new, fun, and exciting games. She always loved being surrounded by nature. Marie hoped that she might get a job doing something in the great outdoors when she was a little older. Marie had a fairly large garden, and it was big enough for her to ride her bike around in. She would zoom from the house all the way down to the big tree at the bottom of the garden it made her out of breath and sweaty, but she liked to see how fast she could go. One day, while sat on the grass and making daisy chains, Marie heard a strange noise coming from the large tree. It was a cawing, squawking noise. It must have been some kind of bird, though she had never heard one making a noise like that. Peering up into the tree, she tried to make out what it was up there causing such a commotion. Marie nearly jumped out of her skin, though, when a large black raven flew down at her and landed only several feet away. Marie had seen birds before, but never a bird that was this big. They were usually tiny, no bigger than her hand, and they would hop and tweet and just look cute. But this raven was huge and was nearly half of her size. But Marie found that she wasn't afraid. In fact, she was more intrigued than afraid. You see, the raven looked curiously at the daisy chain she was making before striding several feet across the garden and plucked another daisy from the ground, bringing it to Marie and dropping it in her lap. Marie was amazed at how the crow wanted to help her. It did it again several more times, bringing flower after flower to her. The two were undoubtedly bonding. Marie even went and brought the large raven some bread and nuts from the house, which it happily pecked at and gobbled up. The pair became so close that Marie decided to name the raven Dom, as she quite liked that name. And from that point on, Dom was never far away. He would sit in the trees and wait for Marie to come out to play. And then when she finally appeared, he would swoop down and play with her in the garden. In return, Marie would feed the playful raven and keep it happy. Marie loved her time outside. It was much better than spending time inside, where her parents would always argue. Sadly though, it seemed that Rodney and Cynthia's relationship had been damaged beyond all repair, and Cynthia had even been seeing another man, a doctor named Rich. He would sneak over when Rodney went out to work. Marie stayed away though, and would often find herself dropping to sleep. She didn't mind though. After all, sleep was better than listening to arguing, or worse. But something would soon happen that shocked everyone. Something so horrible that no one believed it when they heard it. You see, Marie suddenly died. She had gone to bed, and when her father had arrived home from work the next day and tried to wake her, she didn't respond. He checked for her breathing and her pulse, but it couldn't be found. He rushed her to the nearest hospital, but the flustered and worried staff said that there was nothing that they could do. This absolutely shattered Rodney. Not only had his marriage fallen apart, but his little girl had died. Enough was enough. As soon as he made funeral arrangements, he left Cynthia once and for all, leaving her for Rich to have. The day of Marie's funeral finally came, and it certainly was a somber one. Friends and family gathered in the churchyard and filed past the open coffin to say their final goodbyes to the beautiful little girl. 
Eventually, people took their seats and the sermon began. But during the funeral, there was a loud screeching coming from a tree that was nearby. The congregation kept looking up at where the noise was coming from, and eventually, a large bird hopped out onto the most prominent branch where people could see him. His large body swayed lightly in the breeze, and he looked down upon the people gathered for the funeral before resting his gaze on the coffin itself containing Marie. He tilted his head from side to side, as if trying to understand what was going on. What the people attending Marie's funeral didn't know was that the large bird was in fact Dom, the raven that Marie had befriended years before. It swooped down and perched on the coffin, peering into the open casket. The people in the congregation started to murmur, and one relative got up to shoo it off. But then the raven did something very unusual. It put something in the dead girl's mouth. It was a stone or something like that. The raven then waited several seconds and picked it back out before repeating the process several times. People watched on, bemused. It was as if the raven was trying to tell them all something. But what? Marie's mother wept and insisted the funeral continued, but her father called a halt to it and ordered an investigation. The funeral director walked up to the coffin and the raven hopped back and watched on as the man inspected inside the girl's mouth. Suddenly, the funeral director's eyes went wide and he picked the girl up from the coffin, causing everyone to scream. He started to pat her firmly on her back over and over again until finally something flew out. It wasn't the rock that the crow had placed in there. It was in fact a large, half-dissolved pole. It turned out that Marie's mother had been drugging the young girl, so she and Rich would not be caught. The young girl must have struggled to swallow one of the poles and nearly choked to death. But as if by some miracle, the pole had dissolved enough to allow a tiny bit of air through. Marie was alive, but only just. Cynthia, on the other hand, was quickly placed under arrest along with Rich. The pair would have to pay for their crime. No one could believe how careless and horrible they had been to poor young Marie. But there was an upside. Marie was alive. Doctors had not noticed her very weak vital signs before. But now that they knew what they were looking for, they were able to treat her properly and nurse her back to health. Finally, several weeks after her funeral, Marie awoke and was surrounded by her family and friends, all led by her father, Rodney. He hugged her tightly and cried. Fate had given him his beautiful little girl back, and as Marie hugged her dad tightly back, she looked out of her hospital window to see a raven perched there. It was Dom. Not only had he saved her life, but he had brought Marie's evil mother and her partner to justice. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? How would you have reacted if you were at Marie's funeral and you witnessed the raven placing something in the poor child's mouth? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.